How do we respond to our friends and colleagues who ask us to share stuff with our audience? Maybe it's a blog post that they, they worked hard on writing. Maybe it's a podcast episode they recorded, a video. Maybe it's a book they wrote and, and they worked hard on, on publishing it. Maybe it's a product or a service that they want us to share with our audience. As you build a bigger and bigger audience, you're going to be confronted with this question more and more. So this is my recommendation for how to respond. I mean, first of all, let me say the ways that we typically, that people typically respond is one, just be the nice guy, the nice gal, and just share it. Even if you haven't really looked at the thing you're sharing, uh, or maybe you don't fully endorse it for one reason or another, um, I don't recommend this. I, I do because I think it's important to, to always be in right relationship with our audience and to be in you know honest relationship with our friends and our colleagues, right? The second way that a lot of people respond is to just just ignore it. Just ignore the request because they are they don't have time to look at, they don't take the time to look at the product or the thing that's being asked to share it, or they don't want to say no. They don't want to be in the embarrassing situation of rejecting their friend or their colleague, right? Here is what I recommend. This, here's how I respond, and you might consider this, or which is this. To both be in right relationship with your audience and to be in a caring and honest relationship with your friend or your colleague. So because you care for your friend or your colleague, do take a bit of time to look at the thing they're asking you to share. Read the blog post, uh, read some of the book, listen to some part of the podcast episode, you know, take a look at the product or the service that they're asking you to share. And then ask yourself honestly, is, am I excited to share this with my audience? Would my audience feel that it's a, not just appropriate, but grateful? that I shared this with them, that it makes sense for my relationship with my audience to share it. Now, if the answer is not really, no, then I think the right thing to do is to tell our friend or our colleague, hey, I really, um, it's not, uh, well, the, the first message I, I sent to my friend or colleague is, hey, I'm gonna take a, a real look at this, and if it feels appropriate for me to share, I will share it forward with my audience or with specific people that, that this is great for. Okay, so that's, that's uh, the first message. And then if we wanna take that additional time and care and it's not something we feel excited to share and we feel that our friend and colleague is open to feedback, maybe we ask them, hey, um, do you want any feedback from me? Constructive suggestion, suggestions to maybe improve this? Now, if it's a book that was just released, maybe you might want to hold off on that because they just worked hard on editing the book and publishing it and giving them constructive criticism isn't appropriate or helpful at this stage um, but if it's something that they can edit or a product that they can improve and are willing and eager to improve then try to give them a couple of pointers of what you see can make the product or service or blog post even better and that will be showing a, a true care for your friend or colleague and you'll continue to be in right relationship with your audience. And if you do uh, speak with another friend or colleague or client that you think, wow, they might really benefit and enjoy this thing from my friend, then do share it with that person individually. So I hope this is helpful. I know some of you are saying, well, I don't have that issue, but as you build your audience, I think you'll come across this more and more often. If you have your own suggestion of how to respond, I'd love to know and I look forward to your comments below the video.